Hello! I think it's time for me to show you some modern Minecraft again. As many of you probably know, um, I, I, I have a kind of checkered history of modern Minecraft. I, I've been doing some uh, experiments and series and it's not been going well. I think I have chosen the right mod pack now that it will work this time. But let's talk about my previous attempts and what I was looking for in a mod pack and why I think this one will work. So this mod pack is Cave Factory. We're gonna get into this in a minute. Let, let's look at my previous attempts once I showed you and once I didn't show you and, and what went wrong with them and uh, what I think we might be doing differently this time. My latest attempt of showing you some modded stuff was in this series, the Enigmatica 6 series, and uh, I just kind of abandoned it. And uh, no, it wasn't the nuclear meltdown, right? We are, we are here. Uh, we are at the site of the nuclear meltdown. I think we still have some nuclear waste down here that didn't get destroyed. Um, it's not why I wanted to end it. It is because, uh, to be honest, I just lost interest. And uh, no, it wasn't the, nu the, the nuclear meltdown kind of maybe helped me uh, with that decision. But the main reason is actually mm, it's, it's, it's the bees, unfortunately. And uh, for that, we can just look. Oh, we are actually out of power, so I can't show you anymore. Uh, we're out of power because we were kind of dependent on the nuclear power to work. Oops. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the reason why the bees are way too overpowered is because there is no more struggle for resources and any 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 resource i need i i will just get one extra bee and that's it there is nothing interesting going on in collecting resources and i have unending netherites i have uh, never stars from well i have never stars from that thing if i ever want to kill withers or or i just get never stars from from a bee um, so that kind of ends up being silly. Uh, you know me, like I'm more about building machines and building uh, infrastructure rather than exploring biomes. And the biggest thing going on in uh, these kind of kitchen sink mod packs are lots of biomes, lots of uh, uh, slightly incompatible mechanics, uh, because there are there are a bunch of mods here that add their own armor, for example, right? You can get armor from various tech mods, you can get armor from various magic mods, and all of them are supposed to be providing some kind of end game armor. Uh, there is a mech suit, but uh, like, if we just look at how I'm equipped, I have a diamond chest plate here. Or is it, no, it's netherite. It's called diamond because it was renamed by, by some mods, I guess. And this is called uh, diamond as well, but it is actually netherite. Uh, but uh, look at the, these like incredible, incredible enchants. It doesn't really matter for me to build the new, amazing, completely mech suit uh, because it's going to perform as good or maybe even potentially worse than this one. And uh, I should have seen it coming because, like, if you've seen uh, this series from the beginning. I was flying and I had never right on day one, right? The book I'm holding in my hand that is allowing me this flight, I got it on day one. The only thing that has improved since day one is that I have more mana so I can cast the flying spell more often. Oh, I'm doing rolls. I didn't know I could do that. Ah, that's funny, actually. Um, so maybe there is some content left here. But uh, basically, it stopped being interesting because of, of uh, issues like that. And by the way, I can't go close to uh, this thing here because for some reason when I do that after the explosion, my game absolutely just lags to hell. That's another reason why I don't really want to continue because of various strange bugs here. And another issue here, by the way, is that I can't open my map because when I open my map, my frame rate drops to pretty much nothing. And the only thing Minecraft is doing is garbage collection because it runs out of memory. So that's another reason why this series doesn't really work for me anymore and, and I kind of lost interest in it. And here we have another example of a mod pack that dies very quickly and for the same reason. Oh, it, the, the reason is there. You, you, you can see them. It, it is the bees. This is Sky Bees, by the way, a, a Skyblock mod pack built around the idea of bees. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I've been playing this around when I was on my break. I was just on my break from making videos. I wasn't on break from Minecraft. And uh, you can see, like, uh, uh, 
yeah, 213 stacks. Wait, can I? Yeah, I can right click it. 13,000 Nevis stars uh, just from the bees. And I think I have, yeah, I have Neverite here. Almost 10,000 Neverite ingots. Uh, it, it, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, when, once the bees start running, they become a, like, I, I was about to say one block solution. They're not even a one block solution. They're one uh, entity solution to all your resource problems. And that's kind of, uh, at least it's not fun for me. It, it's fun to, to build up the bee infrastructure and build everything around it. But once you get there, it is kind of game over. And, and I think I reached this kind of game over in, in, in just a few days. And by the way, yes, of course, we are having flying uh, quite immediately. And as you can see, I have rockets here, but I'm not using rockets because uh, apparently this is a thing in uh, one of the mods here. I think it's Apotheosis. And it is... Oh, no, it's not here. It's on my wings. Multi-jump. Um, you can just multi-jump in the air. You can actually do it even without wings. Um, fun thing, when I was getting my wings, let's put the helmet on, uh, I did it like this between the end islands. Like, oh, boink. Oh, wait. Ah! It's... Oh, no, I don't have that... Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I had multi-jump on my, my boots, but I don't have it. I only have it on my uh, wings. But I could jump between the end islands instead of bridging, uh, which is fun. Uh, but... Maybe you like that experience of bridging between and, and islands. I don't know. It's that's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, this this world I don't really see any reason to continue here because uh, all the resources are done. I, I I could build machines. I started slightly with immersive engineering machines here, and um, immersive engineering is something that I'm looking forward to in the new mod pack because it promises no single block solutions to things, and this is slightly annoying me for, with things like mechanism, or uh, I love these things in the beginning. Uh, these are botany pots. Um, you get a full farm for like a, a tree farm, bamboo farm, sugarcane farm, cactus farm, wither rose farm, uh, never wart farm, any farm you want of anything that grows, like even flower, uh, with a single block. And... Uh, yeah, that kind of also sucks the fun out of building farms and building machines. Uh, unfortunately, it's fun for one day and then it's over. Then you have all the resources you could ever need from this. So uh, this world is also dying. Uh, the first time I'm showing it to anyone, but, but still. like It is also the last time. I'll probably delete it. This one here behind me was actually quite fun. This is a mod pack called Engineering Sky, and it's it's another sky block. It's a very small one. It had very few downloads on CurseForge, but I wanted to try it, and uh, I, I really, really liked it, but uh, this is also suffering from the same problem as the other ones. But there is a different problem here. Um, as you can see, in, like I, I have a grow up here, and uh, basically, you can grow all your resources on plants here. Uh, more botany pots, by the way, but I didn't really need to use them. And yeah, this also suffers from uh, the same problem as uh, other things. Wait, uh, I need to... Oh, that's how I turned off my jetpack. Um, it suffered from the, the same problems as the others. Like, it, it ends up with one block or one entity solution for everything. And that's also not particularly fun. Let's, I, I just want to look at this place uh, before I kill it uh, in daylight. It's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with the result of how I built this. Because I actually spent some time making it pretty and not just testing how the mechanics of the mod packs work. Because I was thinking that maybe, maybe I could do something with this. But unfortunately, this one ran out of steam as well. There is not much more to do. Um, I can show you one project that I'm having here. This mod pack has compressed, cobble, like compressed, not just cobblestone. It can compress various different things. So I'm using storage drawers here. The cobblestone is being generated here by uh, one block solution cobblestone generators. This is double compressed. Uh, no, this is compressed cobblestone, double compressed. Then it comes in here to triple and quadruple compressed. The quadruple goes into quintuple and sextuple compressed cobblestone and then the sextuple compressed cobblestone can get into octuple 
compressed cobblestone. And one of these blocks is, I don't remember, it's several million of cobblestone in one block. This is the silly project I ended up trying to do because I had nothing else left. And um, I realized that, yeah, th this was fun. Th this was actually decently well put together mod pack, but uh, it didn't take me many days before I run out of things and machines to build. So let's move on. But I do like skyblock type mod packs. So maybe the answer was an underwater skyblock. So I guess C block or whatever. Uh, this is a Seopolis is the mod pack called. And um, I like the idea. It's like a skyblock, but underwater or in, inside the ocean. Uh, I can actually go up to the surface, but it will kill me as soon as I get, like, I think two blocks above the water, uh, the air starts killing me. So, yeah, you're supposed to be building underwater. And um, I like the idea. And uh, the list of mods here is, well, it's fewer single block solutions to all my problems. And if we look at the quests here, uh, it's very, very long series of quests to, 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 to get what you need, which uh, seems promising. The only problem is, and just, just to annoy me, we can't hear it now, but it is ridiculously noisy in here. Uh, we, we're having guardians spawning everywhere around us. We have some bigger fish. I don't know what they're called, but they keep making noises all the time. And we keep getting pirates, and I'm also not getting... Like, did I turn the difficult? No, I didn't change the difficulty. Uh, we get pirates spawning all the time in the water. Oh, you can hear one pirate here. The, the R, um, the pillager R, is, is actually a pirate. Uh, I can get up here. Yeah, these guys, and they make pillager noises all the time. Like, it doesn't end. And the worst part is that these guys... Uh, they spawn underwater and then they float up and they get stuck under my floor and they keep making these noises. Uh, and uh, I basically, like, I, I can't be in a noisy environment. I hate it. Like, sorry, can't work here because it's too noisy. If, if you ever want to hire me and it's noisy, I, I don't want to do it. So, promising, interesting, seems like a decent enough mod pack with the quests and uh, how the progression is set up, but no thank you, too noisy. This here is actually quite a good one. Uh, this mod pack is above and beyond, it's create above and beyond, and uh, it's built around the create mod and, uh, well, making it as hard as possible. It's insanely hard to get resources in the beginning uh, when trying to mine it. Wait, why do I have this, this stupid helmet? Oh, there, much better. I, I gave it a try. I did a, a couple of the first, I think, two or three chapters. And uh, I, I really, really want to try this properly at some point. But I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know if it would work as a YouTube series. M maybe it would. Probably this one is probably better for like to do it with other people and not just do it yourself because there's just so much work to do. I have realized that when I'm filming things and I'm trying to show you things that I'm doing, I, I, the, the, the progress is maybe at one third, not, not, not even there, like it's maybe at 10% speed that I'm doing things if I were doing them completely alone without filming and without thinking about what to show people and without editing the videos. And uh, since this is so stupidly grindy, this probably needs cooperation with other people un unless I wanted to take like five years to actually finish the mod pack. Uh, let's, let's just see. It's been a while, so I don't remember. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't even know which the next steps are. Um, I'm on the third chapter and I haven't really even finished the second chapter here. Uh, I have. Now I have. Never mind. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I started the third chapter here, and I don't know how many there is. I think there is eight. And and so this is a very, very slow mod pack, but, like, it's very well thought through and, and well integrated. And I definitely want to give it a go at some point, but uh, not right now. And I guess this will have to serve as the representation of the Let's Create series. I'm really, really sad that that series ended. This is a creative world of the exact same seed, and, and I used to have the base in, in this mountain here on the server. But yeah, this is the best we can do here. 
I really wish it, it would continue, but the others ran out of time or interests and I just couldn't continue it myself. It was a really, really fun world. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to replicate something like that someday. Right, so now that we know where we stand, uh, this is why I picked this mod pack. This is Cave Factory, like I mentioned before. It's like a sky block or stone block, I think it's called. Uh, we are in a cave. Uh, there is nothing around here. I've gone into Spectator uh, in, uh, well, it, actually a different test world I, I used. And uh, there is nothing, no caves, nothing generates in here. Um, I see that we have a spawner here with a lever. And right now the spawner is off. So I'm assuming we have apotheosis and the spawner is um, improved with redstone control. I, I guess, I think if it was a comparator, right? Comparator here and the comparator can be used yes spawner modification apotheosis redstone control i'm assuming it's this or something like that at least which means that if i turn it on things will start spawning yeah hello mr zombie we probably don't want you just yet because i have no weapons uh, but yeah uh can i just punch him to death oh that's gonna take forever uh let's let's pretend the zombie is not there i'm gonna get rid of him whenever i need maybe this was a huge mistake I don't think it is. Right. Let's look at the quests and see what's happening. Welcome, blah, blah, blah. Welcome, your mission is to create underground factory. Awesome, that I want. In the overworld, you find only stone. The ceiling is made from bedrock, though. Mm, bedrock breaking? I think there are actually some methods in the create mode to break bedrock. Uh, it might be something we will try someday. Anyway, uh, not today. Today we're just gonna set up the basics. I already babbled long enough about uh, what mod packs I like. Uh, so there we go. I got some experience out of this. Right, dig out pebbles. Sneak, right click on a stone block with an empty hand to get some pebbles. Oh, okay. Uh, um, I'm assuming that I can use an auto clicker here and get a lot of pebbles. But uh, we're not gonna do things like that. I'm gonna take it slow. I'm not in a super hurry. Uh, like I mentioned, let's get two stacks of these things. I can see actually them in the hotbar. Um, I'm not in a super hurry. We're gonna take it slow, build one machine at a time, and uh, don't rush to the end or, or anywhere else. Right, pebbles. I'm assuming I can do something like this with the pebbles. Yeah, we have cobblestone now. Hey, Stone Age. But how do I get a crafting table? Right, first cobblestone. Hey, gave me a furnace, but I think I will need another. Getting wood is different here. Awesome, this is what we want. To get wood, throw cobblestone on the ground and wait around 30 seconds. Oh, really? And the, the, the zombie is gonna be annoying me. But as soon as we get wood, I'm assuming we will get a, a crafting table and can make something to, to hit him in the head with. Right, so getting wood here. Oh, it, it, as it wants me to make uh, storage drawers early, which is good because we will be using storage drawers for a long time, may maybe even for the entire time. I, I kind of don't want the rush refined storage that I've been doing in, in other mods. I'm 99% I'm sure we have refined storage here, right? Refined, yeah, we have refined storage, but I'm not gonna rush it. I, I don't want to do the auto crafting stuff too much. Um, I kind of want to set up a factory first and, and then if we end up with like enormous, enormous recipe chains, I will set up refined storage for that. But I, I kind of want to store all my stuff in, in storage drawers. Unless that's a stupid idea for some reason. I, I'm watching here to just to see if that thing converts to, to wood. It was supposed to convert to wood. Oh, wait. Uh, what did the quest say? Did I do something stupid? Throw cobblestone on the ground. Ah, silly person. Uh, this is cobblestone. So yeah, let's see what else we can uh, do in the first day. Oh, it, it's also telling me to build these things, which is Tinker's Construct. I have not been playing around with Tinker's Construct uh, enough, so I kind of want to do that. Uh, I am pretty sure uh, I will stay with those tools there for as long as possible. We got wood. And uh, instead of going for the apotheosis, like because I'm, I'm seeing that like, since there is apotheosis, I'm, I'm assuming, let, let's just see, efficiency, yeah, like we, we can go get up to efficiency 9. I, it, it's fun, but I, I, 
I, I want to try something different. I want to try to take it a little bit slow. So maybe Tinker's Construct tools are super effective as well. But I'm, I'm going to stay with them for a while, see what happens. And I'm pretty sure I saw also that we do not have any vein mining. Uh, vein miner is in the pack, but you need to finish the Twilight Forest to unlock it. And I think uh, I looked a little bit at this, so I think it's on the exploration. Yeah, it's the last thing here. You can enable vein mining, but for that we need to kill the dragon. And to kill the dragon, I saw we will have to do something here. Factory, yes. Uh, we will have to pretty much finish the entire factory quest chain just to get some end stones so we can build end portal frames so we can build our end portal and go to the end and kill the dragon. Oh, and we get arrows of harming for doing that so we can kill the dragon easier, I guess. Right, so uh, we have this. Uh, 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 I definitely want that. Perfect. How do I set this up? I'm actually going to set up everything in the middle and clear out a lot of area. There, there, there will be a lot of mining here. Did I get some some rewards? Let's see, I got some rewards. There seem to be a lot of re quest rewards here, so I might not need to craft that too many things in the beginning. Right, we have that, so let's make cobblestone. Uh, 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 uh. I'm just wondering, how, how, do, how, how am I gonna get, like, better resources? That was... Cabro cobblestone. Oh no, so this converts... Ah, so when mining stone we are getting different things all the time. Also, I need to be careful about lighting here. Let's see. Do we have the F7? Oh yes, we do. Okay. I think I can kill him with a pickaxe. Ouch, he hit me. How do I get food, by the way? That's probably also a... Just rotten flesh. Never mind. I was thinking that, that it looked like a carrot for a second. So, right. Let, let's do things in order, though. So what I'm going to do now is just to clean things up here a little bit. Get a bunch of furnaces. Uh, some storage systems started. You know, the usual. I'll update you in a minute. All right. And I, I just broke my pickaxe. So I think it's time to make a pickaxe. I just made all the parts as well from Tinker's Construct. And I think... How do I do this? Uh, uh, and tool handle? Yay! <laughs> my new pickaxe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always funny to go between um, different Minecraft worlds, one where you have everything and one where you don't have anything and you just get happy because you got a pickaxe and a jungle log. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, does it... do different things convert into different logs? I think that that means that's... I, I want to see fluid to item recipe. No? I don't know if, if just enough items is actually showing uh, these recipes that things get converted uh, when they get dropped on the ground. I, I will have to research that. But uh, I actually don't want that. Um, I, I, I want the proper wood farm. I, I don't want to keep dropping cobblestone on the ground. That feels a little bit cheap. Anyway, uh, my plan here, I think, uh, now that I've been here for a few minutes, is that I want the central room to be just be a crossroads. I probably don't want to build much in here. We have the spawner here. It might actually be possible to move the spawner. I will think about that later. But we have a sp the spawner here. And uh, from what I've been reading in the quest, we kind of want the spawner because of blood magic. We will need blood magic if, if I looked correctly here. Um, yeah, they, they're suggesting that I do the blood magic stuff as soon as possible because that is the only way to get lava. And we definitely want lava for a lot of things, like smelting with create mud, among other things. We definitely want lava, uh, but also getting to the nether, because I don't see any obsidian here whatsoever. So probably using blood magic to get lava will be the only way to, 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 to get obsidian as well and get into the nether. And uh, we're not going to rush that, but yeah. So uh, plan right now. I think, yes, I want this to be a crossroads, so I'm gonna be punching corridors in here and uh, just expanding immediately, as soon as possible, and now it's time to, to expand. 
And uh, I'm gonna do that so to this direct oh no i don't have any torches oh uh, do i have i have sticks do i have coal i do please tell me yeah i do have coal right du, 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 du. it's not very fast to mine though uh i might change my mind about efficiency and chance later because as far as i understand these are not enchantable you can only improve them by tinker's construct upgrades i have to look at that Torches, torches, torches. Yes. That's not a lot of coal, but now we have torches. So, like this. Yeah. And I'm going to expand here and uh, try to build my storage system in a different room. And to have a different room, we have to dig it first. So, see you in a minute. And since pretty much all kinds of ores and five different cobblestone seems to be generating we need to do one thing very early and it's getting two of those thanks so i have learned uh, through all kinds of modded minecraft that thanks are well the best thing ever um, because it allows me to do this i can put all kinds of like this one will contain cobblestones i guess those are the different types of cobblestone that's another one i think yeah that's old kind oh no and the side cobblestone. Am I missing some cobblestone here? No, I'm not missing an, a cobblestone. So we're gonna set this to filtered pickup. And now if I drop this stuff and pick it up, it goes straight to the dank and did it go into my inventory? Perfect. So this one will be all kinds of ores and I don't even have enough space for all kinds of ores. So I guess some of them we'll have to pick up manually. That's fine. I might make another dank, but yeah, that danks seem to be very important since I'll be doing a lot of digging. I just did this much and my inventory was just completely filled. Five, six, seven, eight, nine types of cobblestone and uh, even more ores, like 13 different ores. Right. Time to dig some more. It's not going fast though. I just saw something in the quests here that I, I want to try. Come on, die zombie. Okay, let's turn this off. And it said that if I drop the rotten flesh on the ground, it will convert into other mob drops soon. I want to see what happens. And Oh, I should turn off the magnet. I got the magnet as a quest reward for something. And uh, the magnet picks things up, which... Uh, I, I always found that kind of annoying with different enchants in modern Minecraft or magnets as well, because I try to throw things away sometimes, right? To keep your inventory clean, you want to throw things away. I guess I have this slot here, uh, which is for throwing things away, but I, I just want to drop things on the ground. Oh, hey, that's actually ender pearls and string and slime and spider eyes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so that's how we get uh, mob drops. Uh, but how do I get food? I still don't have any food. Oh, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, anyway, I built a bunch of drawers. So in here, I'm going to have my, well, tinkering area uh, workshop with create machines that I'm going to just run manually. And I think I'm just going to have storage on this wall here. Four, and yeah, we want that one here. Uh, why not? Let's fill in the entire wall. I don't know how many of these I built. Probably too few or too many. Uh, probably too many. Uh, but good enough for now. Uh, I will need a lot more of these compacting drawers. I already have iron, so let's drop iron into it. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, let's start organizing things because that's necessary. And move the entire tinkering setup in here as well. And yeah, we will have a start of a new home. Right, I found a carrot on a zombie, but I don't want to eat it because, uh, well, uh, I just found that uh, to get dirt, I will need to progress through the blood magic stuff and into dirt. I was actually thinking about that the, my next step here would be to get this stuff done. So uh, some create stuff just, just to get basic like create tools going. And I see, like, they, they want me to make mechanical crafters early? Doesn't that require brass? Well, <clears throat> clearly it doesn't require brass. 
oh, that's actually, oh, that's super easy compared to the normal create recipe for, for mechanical crafters. That's great. Uh, so it means that we can get the crushing wheels really early. Uh, andesite alloy. I'm assuming I'm getting a lot of andesite cobblestone. Oh yeah, okay, I'm getting a lot of andesite cobblestone, so I will have to smelt that and get the andesite alloy. I was thinking that I want to progress through here before getting into the blood magic, but I think the only way to get dirt... Yeah, granite infused with blood in the altar created dirt. So uh, we'll have to get into blood magic, but that will be the next time because uh, it's enough for today. I have explained what we're doing, where we're going, uh, where this series is supposed to be heading. And, oh, I see that I need to light things up up there because they are spawnable. Everything is going to be spawnable here. Um, super dangerous. I don't want anything spawning. But that's enough for today. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. And, and, and I want that carrot back. Bye. <laughs>